Hello, and welcome back to the ASMR Playroom. In this video, I'm going to be opening up this Charizard lunchbox. And, uh, I will be soon uh, changing the name, actually, of the channel. So this might be one of the last times that you'll be hearing that. Welcome back to the ASMR Playroom. What I'll change it to, not to, not so sure yet, but I have a couple ideas. So there's the contents. It has six TCG booster packs, three foil cards featuring Mouscarada, Skeledurge, and Quaquaval, a cool Pokemon coin, don't forget that, it's cool, some stickers, mini portfolio, and the code card. some plastic sounds for those uh, plastic enjoyers out there. This time I'm gonna try to completely cover up the mic. See what it sounds like. Here it comes. chest. I don't know if you can faintly tell, but there's some like a, what looks like to be scales or something in this black portion right there. Yeah, you can see it. Looks pretty cool. Here's the back. You can see the pattern much easier here. see the, the hollow foil pattern continue on the edges. I love that pattern. I know I say it like every time I see a card that has it, but 
really is my favorite hollow pattern, or one of them. Nice Charizard coin right there. There's Quaquaval, my least favorite of the new starters. second least favorite uh, final evolution. I prefer Scalidurge the most, but uh, the earlier evolutions, I like Sprigatito. Very cool. I love the pattern. There's the code card. Skeletage. And there's Crocolore. I like Crocolore. I like the little hat that he has. Okay, now let's see what packs we get. We have City and Flames, Paldea Evolved. Paradox Rift, Obsidian Flames, Paldea Evolved. Two of each, nice. stickers Ooh, nice Charizard sticker and the mini portfolio which aren't really the best product in my opinion um, I mean there are definitely better ways to store your Pokemon cards than in those mini portfolios. I feel like they are more likely to damage your cards. already but I have this Charizard playmat from the uh, UPC to go along with the the Charizard uh, what's it called collector's chest maybe it will bring us some Charizard pulls Just 
go straight through in this order that is lined up here. Of these sets, I would say I'm not sure which one I prefer the most. I think out of them, Paldea Evolved has the, the chase cards that I would want the most. Paradox Rift has, in general, more stuff that I like, and then Obsidian Flames has the highest pull rates. But we'll just start off with the Paldea Evolved. Snow and Noivern EX. Sorry, I kind of went off camera there for a bit. And I've said this before, but I I like the pattern on the new EX cards. It's just that they look so faded, like not colorful. But we gotta pull. nice thing about uh, these collection chests, though, is that no matter what, you're going to get the promo card, so we'll get shut out. Obsidian Flames. By far the best pull rates. I feel like it's um, undisputed that Obsidian Flames has the best pull rates of the Scarlet and Violet block so far. Scyther. Zigzagoon. Palpitoad. Squovit. Bronzong. Stunfisk, Umbreon, Lechonk, Dratini, and Palafin. Sage, Vanillite, and Aegislash. And just like that, we are up to our last pack. Obsidian Flames. Let's see if 
we get more than one pull out of these six booster packs. Cub Chew, Drillbur, Capsicid, Snubble, Gumshoes, Pupitar, Togetic, Larvitar Reverse, Houndour Reverse, and last card is an Ice Q EX Full Art. Double rare. Look at that. Last pack magic. And it looks extremely good, actually. Like, beautiful centering. I don't see any print lines. Maybe a little bit of a ding in the top left there, but it might just be the light in the back. So looks pretty good. The corner there is fine. Look at that. Okay, that'll do it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Take care.